Protect us by thy might, great God, our King. Thank you, Ben, for playing that for us this morning. Good morning. It's great that we can choose to come and be together in the house of the Lord. Now, several, of course, and we understand, um, are choosing not to join us, but uh, hopefully they'll be watching later on tomorrow uh, as they watch it on YouTube. And, uh, but this is our opportunity to just come together, and I always enjoy being able to fellowship with you. You understand we're able to up here kind of stay apart, and we're far enough apart where we can take our masks off, and we want to make sure you can understand what we're saying, too. But uh, it is good to worship with you this morning. Um, we're living in interesting days, but at the same time, not only do we celebrate our God and our Savior, but we celebrate our country. We celebrate who we are and what we've been able to experience as a country and the freedom we have to enjoy. May we never forget that from day to day. I do have a few announcements for you um, that were given to me. Barbara Beatty was admitted to the hospital over the weekend. She's undergoing tests to determine the cause of her issues, but is in good spirits. Um, my wife Janet is not here today. Um, she had a follow-up appointment and they discovered a little thing they wanted to repair this week. So um, she's uh, hopefully, well, the doctor told me this morning she'll be getting out today sometime at the hospital, so I finally get to see her after a couple days when you can't see anybody in the hospital. But uh, we'll be picking her up today. But uh, she's at Temporal General and is, is doing quite well and feels fine. Um, ladies, I have been asked to announce that Home League is taking place here every Tuesday at 1045 in the gym, so you want to keep that in mind. Oh, sorry to backtrack. My wife wanted me to be sure and tell you a hi. So, I almost forgot that. Also, you may notice in the uh, uh, lobby, there's a blue bin out there. This is for our annual school supply drive for the youth of our Corps. Uh, it will be up for a month for you to place any school uh, supplies you would like to provide for them. And if it's more convenient for you, of course, you can come between Sundays. It'll be available out there in the lobby as well for you to experience and take part in that. You'll see, uh, I guess we'll refer to it as the new war cry, a little bit uh, different formats and things uh, for you. There's uh, inf information on our new national commanders, Commissioners Ken and Jolene Hodder, that is in that new war cry. They're at the table on the way out uh, for you to see there as well. <clears throat> Before I share a little bit from the scripture, Jerry, our core treasurer, would like to share with you at this time. Thank you and good morning. As we all know, uh, and we're talking about the 4th of July celebration, we have so much to be thankful for in our great nation, uh, both in terms of our heritage and also our uh, resources and uh, really the wealth of the nation, which uh, God has blessed. But uh, the reality is, there's a chorus that I'm not real familiar with, but uh, the words go like this. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills, the wealth in every mine. <clears throat> he owns the rivers and the rocks and the rills, the sun and stars that shine. Well, then the question may be, why doesn't God just handle all the needs that we have? Why doesn't God just provide the money for the operation of the church or the business of, uh, of the world services that we have without having to, us to give offerings. Well, we understand. It is because he has given us the privilege of being part of an essential part of this important enterprise. And because, probably most importantly, we need to learn the joy of giving. And as you know, and everybody is familiar, we have the uh, boxes in the back that are available for our giving. Shall we pray? It is our privilege, our Heavenly Father, to share with you in providing for our core and for our world services and in meeting the needs of our community. We learn the joy of giving from your example of giving your son so that we might have eternal life. Thank you for that and help us to be 
givers as well. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Court Treasurer. I found some scripture, a verse I'd like to share with you from 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. And it's chapter, uh, verse 6, which says, <clears throat> For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. Jesus, we can look fully into his face. He isn't wearing a mask today. We can look fully into his face and see his glory even this morning. There's a dark world out there that needs us, folks. There's a dark world out there that needs us to take a stand for Jesus and to share the love of Christ. Might we experience that light again this morning so that we have a light to share with those that we meet. God bless you as you worship. <clears throat> 